Hi, I'm Daryl from Progressive Controls and SunPower AutoGates, and in this video I'll be showing you how to program your SunPower automatic gate wireless keypads. There's a separate video showing how to program remotes and wireless push buttons. When you purchase the SunPower AutoGate, the remotes, push buttons or keypads that come supplied with the gate are pre-programmed and this process is not required. However, any additional or replacement remotes, push buttons or keypads will need to be programmed. Programming will also be required if you replace the receiver. As in the remotes and push buttons tutorial, I'll be using our receiver test rig for this demonstration, but you will find the receiver mounted on the circuit board of your automatic gate opener. For the programming to work correctly, this process needs to be completed quickly. If you don't complete the process quickly, it can result in a failure to recognise the keypad, or in the worst case, it will reset the receiver, clearing all your previously programmed devices, which means you'll have to start the whole process again from scratch. Before programming the keypad, the batteries will need to be installed. Each keypad takes two batteries, which are installed with the positive side facing up. Each keypad can have two codes programmed and comes programmed with the default codes of 1234 and 5678. It's recommended for security purposes that you choose and program your own codes, and I will show you how to do that in this video. After installing the batteries, press the asterisk key at the bottom left of the keypad. All the keys should illuminate, indicating the batteries are installed correctly. There are two steps in programming the keypad. The first is to register the keypad to the receiver, and the second is to set your code. Registering the keypad should be done before the keypads are mounted in their operating position. For this procedure, the keypads will need to be close to the gate motor and easily accessible, as it needs to be completed quickly. Each code on the keypad needs to be registered separately. I'll describe the actions first and then demonstrate the procedure. I'll begin with the default 1234 code. Start by entering 1234 on the keypad, then press and release the Learn button on the receiver, checking that the LED on the receiver is illuminated. Press and hold the Hash key on the keypad until the LED flashes and the gate opens, which indicates that the keypad is now registered. Registering the second code is optional. If you'd like the option to use two different codes, for example one code for you and another for visitors or employees, you can register the second code. For the second code, substitute 5678 for 1234 and repeat the procedure. Changing the codes is something that can be done at any time and does not require close proximity to the gate motor. Again, this procedure must be completed quickly. Start by entering the code that you want to change, in this case 1234. Then press the asterisk button. Enter your new code and press the asterisk button again. Enter the new code once more, followed by the hash key and you will hear the keypad beep to indicate you have successfully changed the code. So in summary, that is, enter the current code, then asterisk, then your new code, followed by the asterisk, and finally your new code again, followed this time by the hash key. You can repeat this process for the second code. You can change your code at any time. For example, you may have given an access code to a contractor for some work, which is now completed and you no longer want to give them access to your property. Simply change the code and they'll be locked out. If you have set your own codes and then forgotten what they were, you can set the keypad back to factory defaults by removing the keypad batteries for at least 15 seconds. 
Press and hold the asterisk and hash buttons together while reinstalling the batteries. Hold the buttons until you hear a beep. Once you have set the keypad back to factory defaults, you do not have to register your keypad to the receiver again. But your codes will be reset to 1234 and 5678, ready for you to change them again.